Yo, what's up aliens? Ahi here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to go over how to make any beat ever. So I'm going to show you all how to create any beat and then flip it into something original. I love doing this on tracks and I've started many of my best tracks this way. First of all, let's get into it. So here I'm going to be showing you all how to do this with a track by Dirt Monkey called Nomad. We're going to be listening to it a lot, but here's the track. <laughs> So we're going to specifically make the beat from this song. What I like to do is find the downbeat of the drop, which is that right there. And you can see that if you zoom in, you can see the kick right there. So I'm going to hit Apple E, cut that out. And I'm going to put this on the downbeat right here. Um, I'm currently at 120 BPM, but I know that this song is not at 120. I believe it's at 160, so we can find the loop point. Okay, so right there is where we're going to loop it. So we want this to be at 1, 2, 3, 4 bars, so at this 53 or at the 51 so I'm gonna move the tempo so you can see that it's changing the position of the length of the track and yeah we're gonna move it up to was it I think it's 160 here and then now this kick yep, is now lined up so now we've got four bars there so now that's been lined up let's test it with the metronome <laughs> Yep, spot on. So that's super important. That's the first step. We're gonna be looking at this kick. Ignore the ramp. So just that kick. It's sort of like a, uh, it's a punchy kick, but it doesn't have a lot of boom. It's sort of short. And sometimes it's helpful if you um, just listen to the low end. You know, it's not, it's not a super bassy kick, so I like to go and find a particular sample, and I found this one, which I feel like is pretty similar to the one in, in the track. This one has a little bit more top end, but like the low end of it and how it hits short, I think it works pretty well. I wanna show y'all some bad examples of kicks that wouldn't work in this song, like these big boomy kicks, the short like hip hop -y kicks. There's another like it it just doesn't have enough impact to it and then this one that's got too much impact to it finding the right sound is a uh, part of the process so i like to go through and find the actual kicks you can see them in the waveform here you can see that this is obviously a kick and then you can see there's another one here so i'm just going to go through and line these up and sometimes it's easier to find them if you just listen to just the low end so i'm eqing out everything below 200 or above 200 hertz so let's listen to the so there's another one there right there right there right there right there and then it's like a double kick right here yeah nice all right so there we go we've got the kicks of our first round and I bet if we just duplicate them over they'll be similar so let's listen okay so these don't go here we'll remove those excellent so now we've got the same kicks uh, in the same positions as the song so next we're gonna move on to snares so in this song it's got a pretty full-on snare got a lot of high-end content to it and I found this one that I liked it's got that nice fundamental to it but it's still got the the white noise in it I want to show y'all some bad snares bad snare that one's more like a jack you clappy clicky one that one's not gonna work then there's like a 909 that's just it doesn't have that same fundamental that one's like a snare like a trap snare see that's just not gonna work that one's like too much that one could work but it just it's like too too trappy and not dubstepy enough it's important to find 
the right kind of snare. So the snares are pretty easy in the song. I think you're, it's pretty much going to be that the whole way through, but let's listen. So there's not going to be a snare there. Okay. So there's just an empty space there. Okay, next. I noticed this zappy sound in here. You hear that? Yeah, that. And so I found this little zap. I think it's pretty close to it. And so I found that he did it just right before every snare. that one interesting so it's like at the beginnings of the cool. so next in there i heard like a reverse white noise that whack into the snare and i found this little thing just a bit of white noise that's been reversed and so this is going not there. Not there. going there just there but basically on the first F F And then also I heard this like tiny fill snare, almost like a trap kind of snare. If we listen to the track, it's yeah. that right there. So I found this little snare to fill that in. So let's listen for that again. So it's right there. Okay. Also, let's listen to those. Uh, sometimes it's easier just to listen to the high end, so I EQ everything below here 450 somewhat hertz. So, so there's nothing here. And then, yeah, it just keeps on going. And then, then it doesn't happen there. Cool. That's right. Oh. Yeah, we get rid of a little bit more right there as well. Cool. So now we should have a beat that sounds pretty similar. Let's listen. So you can apply this technique to any genre, any beat whatsoever, even like super complicated things. If you go through and finally like look at, even at swing beats, like you can go through and line up those transients and just use your ear and really listen for all the tiny details and cut out the highs, cut out the lows and listen for all those tiny minute things that you might not have heard in the first listen. Now I'm going to show y'all how to take this and make it completely original. Let's do that. Let's listen to that beat one more time. I've sort of taken a few extra things and pumped it up a bit. A few more cymbals and whatnot in there. I've layered in a few other snares. Got that nice ride in there. Cool. Oh yeah. And then I, I added in like a little kick fill there too. So his track has got all those amazing like 
analog. I'm I think it's analog. Bass sound. I love it. But I wanted to do something. I was feeling something a little bit more melodic at the time when I made this. And so I want to show you all what I made with this. Completely different. Same beat, but completely different song once you add in all the other elements. Check this out. Yeah, pretty cool. It's a completely different song, but it, the beat structure has helped inform and really give my song groove. And then also what I like to do with tracks is you can see here, there's the drop in the song and I've lined up the build. And uh, this is like a melodic verse kind of section and intro and another breakdown and build and then a drop here again and so i've like structured my song very closely to this nomad track and it's just really helpful to like speed up the creative process uh, that way you can just like throw in your your ideas but within this structure um and i found that super useful all right i hope y'all enjoyed this i wanted to show y'all a few things uh now if you've been watching my tutorials you've definitely seen me talk about my magic racks but i wanted to show y'all a few how i used them on this song so there is this uh breakbeat section in the part right before the drop I did. And so that's me chopping up some breakbeat. But I have here two magic boxes on here, and these are probably my most used Ableton racks. And so if I take off the magic boxes, it just doesn't sound as good. Add those back on. And so it's it's got it has OTTs in there, but it's got like four different types of compression going on in there, and it's all doing it slightly differently. But it's really nice just throw it on there and uh, you'll learn a lot from dissecting that also here on the bass group uh, I also have the magic box as well where I just sort of threw it on there to give it uh, to glue all the bass sounds together uh, just a little bit more so if I play that it's a subtle difference but it really does give it that glue Cool. And now also here on the vocal groups, here for those vocals during the drop, this. Or is it in my heart? So without, I've got Ahi's rap vocalizer and the singer vocalizer on here. And if I turn these off, this vocal sounds boring. Or is it in my heart? Just nothing. So this rap vocalizer really gives it a lot of character. And then the singer just really makes it fit in the in the mix really well cool also there's another cool uh ahi rack that's the auto chopper and if we look at this you can see it's being automated here so it's chopping up the vocals so if i play this part it's a subtle thing in the song but here it is soloed And you can change like the rate of chopping. Super fun to mess around with that. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, aliens, hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be making a lot more videos. Also, I'll have a link to all my magic racks in in the link below. It's only $20 for 25 different racks. And also I have a $5 bundle that is eight different racks that is a add-on to the Magic Racks. And all of them are super useful, super cool. I use them all the time. Definitely go check those out. Bye. Peace, aliens.